Let's go to Vienna. New life in Vienna. Hamdi and Ramin, please come. So, the floor is to you. Um, hello, everyone. This is Ramin Siawash from Afghanistan. I left Afghanistan at the end of uh, 2015 and landed to Vienna. And I start my show uh, with Radio Orange. I'm a, grad I'm a graduate of Business Administration, Journalism, and IT from CVCMF University of Afghanistan, and uh, also the founder of a school in Vienna for women and children. So we are going to talk about new life in Vienna, but before, since uh, February 2016, I'm running two uh, personal shows. That's one information, and the second one is uh, entertainment. It's for asylum seekers that in the, an entertainment program, they call in and share their favorite songs that they sing the song they love by telephone, and then I will broadcast them the, the songs that they love from their countries. And this show is open for all languages. Then I don't talk in this show, just only have a jingle. But the second show of mine is uh, an information program. It's called Saya Roshan, that I interview politicians, uh, refugees, social activists and all who are interested to talk and share their experiences for refugees and how to support them. Especially, I got some support, support for uh, English, for German languages, and, and then um, they somehow support the refugees. And then my colleague, Hamdi. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Hamdi Abdullahi from Somalia. Uh, I'm a colleague of Ramin, also we work together on, on Radio Orange, at Radio Orange, different uh, projects, but we are uh, producing together new life in Finn. Um, yes, he came in Finn, in Austria, in the end of uh, uh, 2015, and I came to uh, Austria in the middle of 15 also, very close uh, time. Um, so we're going to new life in Vienna, could we go to previous slides? Sorry. Our aim is in this show to uh, address newly arrived and refugees in Vienna, and this is open for all people who are new in Vienna. It means that we support them how to provide uh, the information that they need and to prevent the fake information, which is uh, presenting to refugees or asylum seekers by many NGOs that they are really not informed. And for providing information, we meet uh, the uh, real organizations that they offer help for refugees and then make it in a show in five languages. Uh, and these five languages is Arabic, Dari, English, uh, German, and Somali. And uh, these five languages, we have, uh, we have four producers. Ramin, me, Hamdi, and Mayada Hada. She is the, pro um, uh, the pro uh, program coordinator. Uh, Suat Sanyur is uh, also a producer like us. And uh, everyone, we, uh, the pro procedure of the pro producing of the program is we, everyone works hard because we are also uh, volunteers in Radio Orange. Then we uh, support each other to find information. Is we research, make the research because this program is not uh, entertainment, but it's real information about the uh, basic life in uh, new uh, cameras. So we collected the information. Is we put together script writing, and then everyone uh, translates his own language. Yeah, but the most important point is this, that all we are journalists, so we are not like, uh, we have experiences behind us, like our background information is we, we work as a journalist in our own countries. And then uh, we have also the jingle we produced and we present it and we broadcast it in every new live uh, spot on our radio each week. So I could ask Simon if it's possible to play that. You can find it in five languages. At the same time, the chingal and the program.
حياة جديدة في فيينا معلومات قد تساعدك لتبدأ حياتك الجديدة في فيينا Neues Leben in Wien Hilfreiche Informationen für deinen Neustart in Wien زندگی ناو در ویانا معلومات که می تواند شما را برای زندگی جدیدتان در ویانا کمک کند نولاش عصوب ای فیانا مربحنا که عاون کرن نولاش عصوب ای فیانا نیو لایف این ویانا Information that can help you for your new life in Vienna. So this is uh, how uh, new life in Vienna sounds if you uh, uh, don't have a feeling how Somali sounds or Arabic sounds, then... Uh, you can find it in other languages, yeah, especially language. in English and German. Uh-huh. And uh, we are in our studio, due to having not too much time, we try to make more short the presentation and put some photos only and the short texts. And then uh, regarding the um, topics, we provided already and broadcasted. We made public transport and language courses. We collected different informations uh, to, in order to help them to find and to know more better about the things that you're following. The other topic, access to health, health and how to live in a low income budget in Vienna. And the, the last topic, the last two, is tips on affordable accommodation and leisure activities in Vienna. You know all that in Vienna it's really hard to find a flat or a room to stay. So therefore we tried our base to collect information from the organizers and providers to, uh, for them to give us uh, the information that we can help them uh, to reach in a very low uh, budget in the places that they can stay for the rest of the time. And also in our audiences, we uh, did um, we get uh, messages and phone calls sometimes. Uh, we were uh, broadcasting these programs, so the most important topic was uh, accommodation and or housing. And the refugees, when they are new, uh, the country, everyone knows that it is very hard to uh, find a flat or room or then they, we give the information on our website every time we broadcast. We make a list which organization is or uh, how they can help uh, get help. Then I found some day a Somali women contacted me. Oh my God, this was helpful. And she followed the links and then they, she uh, contacted the organization. Then she uh, found her way to find a flat. That was my uh, biggest uh, time, or uh, at the moment I feel, oh my God, this program or this project is helpful for the people. And the things uh, I'd like to remind as well that I have almost two years experience being a refugee, and then therefore uh, we found the program that we are providing for refugees or asylum seekers positive and it and it in occasion positive for them because we are among of them and then we can select the topics that really they need for that and also i would like to thanks for the uh, staff of radio orange that they helped us all the time for producing the show and did support us as well and also at that point uh, when we was uh, planning in May uh, to how we can produce what is the important thing for the newcomer person, then we, we didn't need to contact her and make a, a phone calls and meet other people. We are the people who need the information uh, or uh, in need. Then we, we were in that position and that yes, we are the representative. Then we know what they need because I asked Ramin what he needs. He needs what I need also. So also the other people also need what we need. So that was also uh, make a big sense. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.